Fitz Eagle Radio on ESPN Radio 1700. Now, live in studio, local and national real estate expert and consumer advocate, Ron Siegel. And hello again. Welcome to Ron Siegel Radio. This is the show with no real boundaries as we discuss current events, financial markets, politics, sports, even poking fun at the rest of the media. This is the show that connects the dots of confusion delivered by conflicting media reports. We connect the dots so you know the actions you can take, how your family, your business can benefit from current events. And most of all, thank you for joining me. Before we get into our intriguing content today, please join me in welcoming our featured guests. Repeat offender, Eileen Oldroyd's in the house. Oldroyd Realty, welcome. Hey, thanks, Ron, for having me back. Glad to have you with us. And first-timer, Manny Alvarez, OCSidelines.com. Welcome. Pleasure, Ron. Thank you for having me. Glad to have you with us. We're going we're gonna to get some good information today. We're going to chat about green. That'll be fun. We're going to talk about, no, not, well, maybe we'll talk about money. But how about making your house green? Maybe some green technology. And maybe even some green within high school sports. Amazing. We're going to have some fun there. Manny Alvarez, we did CIF fin uh, regionals finals time. Maybe not regional finals. That probably doesn't. Regional event, whatever you want. Manny, yeah, you are right the first time. Okay. <laughs> regional finals. Yeah. Uh, we'll, get, we'll get it right. I'm a little bit slow in many instances. Uh, we're going to chat about all of this here today, but let me remind you, if you ever have any home finance related questions, I am the consumer advocate looking out for you. And you can reach out to me directly at 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, or ronsegalradio.com. Just remember, that's the number you call anytime for assistance. When you call that number, it comes directly to me first. There are no operators standing by. I am it. Quiet, numbskulls, I'm broadcasting. While I do have a great team when it comes to developing a financing plan or plan to save you money, I work with you personally. Even if you don't have any needs today, save this number in your phone for future reference, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. What is happening in the world of finance, economics today? Now, I looked it up this morning, and obviously we like to start every broadcast with something to celebrate, and I looked up the celebrations of today, and I, I just couldn't get behind this. Round Noodle Day today? Really? That's the best we could come up with is Round Noodle Day. Noodle Ring Day, they even call it. So we'll stick with UNICEF's birthday and... Happy Friday! It's date night time! Ron Siegel Radio Date Night Trivia. It's presented by Reunion Kitchen and Drink. I usually save this to the end of the broadcast, but we're going to start off with it today just because we can. So here is the question. We spoke with Fred Fascinelli yesterday. And Fred shared with us, he's a criminal attorney, Fred shared with us how many cases he handles roughly in a year, and it was pretty close to the same amount that the public defender handles in a day. The number of cases that Fred shared with us that he handles each year is pretty much the same as a public defender has on his plate every day. How many is it? Be the third person to post the correct answer, Ron Siegel Radio on Facebook. Please just go to facebook.com forward slash Ron Siegel Radio. Be the third person to put that answer right there, and you will get the date night package, which means dinner for two compliments of reunion kitchen and drink. You'll also get some movie tickets and some Starbucks money. That may, you know, it's the morning after. you got to figure you might want some then. Uh, moving right along. So we've got our date night handled. We are looking at gas prices. I look at that on a regular basis for you as well to see how we're doing here in the state of confusion as, as compared to the rest of the country. And gas prices, that oil prices, I, I've shared this with you before, oil prices are way, way down, which is really a good scenario in most areas. We did hear from our friends over at Chapman University 
that the fact that oil is so far down did have a drag on GDP last year or the projected numbers for this year. The current average gas price is $2.1.2 a gallon. That's the national average. Here in the state of confusion, we're paying $2.65.7. So basically 64 cents more than what the cost is nationally. There's still 23 states paying less than $2 a gallon while we're still in the high twos. Isn't that special? That's a state of confusion for you. We like to do these kind of goofy things. Speaking of goofy things that we like to do here in California, there might be a Democrat that is waking up. California Democrat is starting to say, you know something, I'm not going to su to support that goofy train, the high-speed rail, Going, this is Assemblywoman Patty Lopez from San Fernando withdrawing her support for the high speed rail project. You know that high speed rail that starts off where there is nobody, the destination where nobody wants to go to, and we're going to spend a hundred billion dollars on it. Unbelievable. Voters approved nine billion in funding for the project back in 2008. Think about this. We, we approved $9 billion in funding for this project in 2008. If my math serves me right, that's seven years ago. And now they're just realizing today that it's not a good idea. That maybe there's a better use for, for these billions and billions of dollars in the state of confusion where we are short on water, we're taking care of the smelt, where we've got roads that are having problems where now we're seeing that in several parts of the state we've got terrorism going on whoops I'm sorry gun violence we have to use the politically correct term so I know who's asked to kick and yeah, we don't want to say the the magic words or that'll get somebody upset in Washington so Merced when we've got a Islamic extremist slashing people's throats and having a manifesto telling how you slash somebody's throat. Uh, that's, I don't wonder what the gun violence is gonna be there because he used a knife. Hmm, let's move down to San Bernardino. Obviously we've got the whole story going on there. Simply amazing, simply amazing, but it is California, it is the United States under the Obama administration. Unbelievable. Now, they, now that we talk about the Democrat Assemblywoman from San Fernando being against the high-speed rail. A financial plan to assemble land in Fresno County for the California high-speed rail has changed. A developer proposed putting $750,000 into the project. So should we scratch our head now when the assembly is saying let's get rid of this project and then we look at Fresno County saying let's spend more money on the project? I, I don't get it. You know, can't we find a better use of the money? And, and the whole idea behind the project, and it goes back to the initial plans. If you listen carefully, when Governor Brown was elected, he made a very, very telling comment. It wasn't covered in the lame street media, but I will share it with you right here, right now. He said, you say, and I'm going I'm to paraphrase, say whatever it takes to get elected, and then do whatever you want to once you're there. That is the commentary. I got a bad feeling about this. Absolutely, got a bad feeling about it. But, you know, you, so, so the idea there was, who cares what the idea is, what we tell the people about the high-speed rail? Like you're going to get from Los Angeles to San Francisco in under two hours? Yeah, but you got to get to Fresno first, or Bakersfield, or wherever they're starting that thing. And we're going to drop you off in Modesto, I think it is. You figure out how to get the rest of the way. Just my comments, give you some numbers to see why is it that the stock market is down again as we are speaking. It's good news for the bond market and for interest rates. November retail sales were below the expectations. November PPI below numbers that are very good for our economy. They beat the expectations, but still not good. And consumer sentiment, i got to wonder about this one, consumer sentiment rose to 91.8.
in December from a final reading of 91.3. Economists were expecting people to be a little more optimistic about the world today. Why? We've got 270,000 people filing first-time unemployment numbers. We've got the Federal Reserve saying they're going to increase interest rates. People are not working, and we wonder why. And we've got these terrorist issues going on. People wondering why this, why we're not more optimistic in our consumer sentiment. Figure that one out. Stock market down 276 points as we speak. You are listening to Ron Siegel Radio discussing your real estate, current events, and the financial markets. When we come back, making your house green, green technology. We'll chat about it. Seven tips for selling your home during the holidays. Credit cards, travel perks versus cash back, and it's football time. All of that, we got it to cover today. You can reach me anytime. Our off-air number it's 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, or ronsegalradio.com. Connect with us facebook.com forward slash ronsegalradio and on Twitter at ronsegal. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. Are you earning a safe, secure 10 plus percent return on your investments? Is your credit score over 800? Are you living in the home of your dreams or simply where you think you can afford? If the answer to any of these questions is no, what are you doing about it? Text ATP to 79564, complete a three minute complimentary survey, and the area trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio will reach out to you to develop a success strategy for you. Again, all you need to do is text ATP to 79564. Ron Siegel Radio Date Night Trivia presented by Reunion Kitchen and Drink. Friday, Ron will pose a question based on on air conversations during the prior seven programs. The person to post the answer according to the guest conversation will win a date night package, including a dinner gift card for Reunion Kitchen and Drink. You might even be able to say hi to Ron when you visit Reunion Kitchen and Drink. It's not every day your home gets flooded, but when it happens, you've got the good people at Apris on your side. With over 25 years of construction and insurance experience, they can turn any disaster around, making your home good as new. For 24-7 support, call 844-GO-APRIS or find us on the web at www.apris.me. Day, night, rain, or shine. When it happens to you, you know what to do. Go APRIS. Remember, call 844-GO-APRIS. That's 844-462-7747. Are you a veteran, own a home, and need money? The Siegel Lending Team is here to help veterans refinance and get the money they need. The VA 100 lets you borrow up to 100% of your home's value. Refinance your mortgage consolidate credit cards, and lower your payments by an average of $700 a month. And the Siegel Lending Team knows that character means more than a credit score. Call 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by the California Department of Corporations, NMLS 21037, and DRE number 01869452. Are you a veteran, police officer, firefighter, doctor, nurse, or teacher? If so, you qualify as one of Ron Siegel's VIP heroes, and we have rewards up to $5,000 or $10,000 when you buy, sell, or refinance a home with one of the Ron Siegel Radio Partners. As one of the heroes, real estate agents will rebate part of their commission, lending partners will give a credit at closing, the title company has special published rates, and many other service providers have incentives too. All you need to do is call Ron Siegel Radio at 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit VIPHeroProgram.com. Just think about what you will do with all the rebates and incentives from the partners of Ron Siegel Radio. Just call us at 800-306-1990 so we can show you our appreciation for your service. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That's my message. And as your consumer advocate, I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime. At 800-306-1990, the real-time real estate segment today being brought to you by the area trusted real estate professionals of Ron Siegel Radio. I get some interesting comments when I talk about this because 
frequently, you know, I'm a tech nerd by nature. People are watching us right now, Ron Siegel Radio TV. We get uh, about 100,000 people listening to us once we move the show to the podcast format after the live broadcast and the YouTube. Yet I say do not go online and do not get a value of your home online. It's a waste of time, waste of money, and it's not accurate. Other than that, it's great. So when you go to Zillow, when you go to Trulia, when you go to all these online services, uh, there's, there's all kinds of CMA services online, waste of time. The right way of getting the value is from a real estate professional because they know what the properties, they know the competition, they know what's in the marketplace. They can tell if you're on the right side of the street or the wrong side of the street. They can put in a value for a for the, the upgrades of your home or you still have that wonderful avocado carpeting from the late 70s. Ugh, some people don't even remember the late 70s. You need to do just very, very simple. Professional Equity Analysis Review. Text PAIR to 79564, P-E-A-R to 79564. One of the area trusted real estate professionals of Ron Siegel Radio will reach out to you for a conversation. And then they can put together some numbers for you and give you true values of your home. And I get a lot of conversations about this as well. Can I sell my house during the holidays? Is this a time to sell? Is anybody buying? Well, here's the issue. Only serious people are in the marketplace today. Those people that are window shopping, they're doing so at South Coast Plaza, they're doing some at UTC, they're at a mall somewhere. They're not going house window shopping at this time of year. They've got better things to do. People want to sell their house. They've got their houses decorated for the holidays. It's festive. They're going to price them right because there's a reason for them to move. They're going to make them accessible. They need to move. They're going to warm, cozy. They might even make a video because their house looks so good right now. Serious people are in the real estate market at this time of year. Not that people aren't serious at other times of year, but they have to buy, they have to sell. That's why they're doing it right now. So yes, you can sell your house at this time of year. And I just gave you several tips for selling your home during the holidays. And that's all courtesy of the area trusted real estate professionals of Ron Siegel Radio, text PAIR, P-E-A-R to 79564, get your professional equity analysis review. And now let's chat a little bit with one of those professionals who know what they're talking about a lot better than going to Google and Trulia and Zillow and, you know, those sites, I don't say those sites are bad. I mean, they just, sometimes they just give you old information. Let's talk to Eileen Oldred. What do you think, Eileen? Did I, did I, where did I go wrong? You didn't go. Ron, you never go wrong. Uh, okay. Ever. That, now I know why you come back so often. <laughs> exactly. You know, you make it look good. Exactly, exactly. You you focus a lot uh, in in helping people with the green side of their houses. Exactly. Green. Not the paint. Not the paint, not the paint. And green is a big broad word. Right. Big broad word. So I'm, I'm more about energy efficiency. That's kind of my that's kind of my bag. That's my jam. Okay. New word jam. I, well, energy efficiency translates into one of my favorite subjects. Mm -hmm. I'm cheap, <laughs> right? So right. We, <laughs> frugal. Exactly. Frugal. Okay, frugal. If if I can save some money on my home energy expenses, then I'm in good shape. Absolutely. Okay, that's so right. give me a, give us a couple well, of. I just because you know, I'm going to ask you a quick question. Yeah. Because maybe you know this one. I'm throwing it out at you. So if you don't know it, don't feel bad. Okay. My son came running into the house. Actually, uh, at our size, we don't run very well. We kind of waddle. <laughs> but he came in and said, "Dad, I just saw this great thermostat, and we need yeah. to put it in. It's called a Nesto or Nido or the Nest. The Nest. There the we nest. go. The Nest. The Nest. Is it going to save me any money? Absolutely. And that's why I wanted. I'm so excited to be here today because it's right before Christmas. Yes. And people love smart homes. It's kind of like that's the the new trend that if you have much it, better than smart Alex like me. Well, it depends on the it depends on the situation, right? Everybody, every party needs a little little kick. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Ron there we Ron. go. So they they'll, they're willing to pay a little bit more money if there's smart technology in a home, especially the millennials. They like that. They like sitting at a bar and like turning the lights on and off, you know, on their on their uh, iPhone or on their Android. Like yeah, my son said that on, to me. On, yeah, on off. 
He so, said I could actually turn on the air conditioning and the heating from wherever I am. Yeah, you know, Terry, uh, my husband, who's actually here in the studio today, he decided to get a nest because we have a vacation rental in uh, Sedona, Arizona. Okay. And he didn't want the guests to be in control. At least he doesn't have a doghouse. Well, no. <laughs> Terry's, Terry's a really good husband. He, he hardly ever visits there. I'm okay. the one that actually gets in there more often than he does. And so what it is, is it controls, it, it learns, it's a computer. So in, for years now we've had programmable thermostats where at a particular time of day, if you want it to be 78 degrees or 72 degrees, it's just programmed. Right. But the Nest learns with you and it has this really nice uh, digital display. In fact, the third generation, when it sees you come into the room, it kind of, it, it lights up and it's a digital clock and it says, essentially, it's not talking to you, but it says, hey, I know you're here. I know at four o'clock in the afternoon, you like the temperature to be, you know, 74 degrees. So it automatically makes the temperature 74 degrees. And then it wow. senses, yeah, it senses when you're away. And when you're away, it goes back to a higher temperature or a lower temperature, depending on the time of day. And it's connected, of course, to your smart device. It's connected to your tablet or to your smartphone. And so let's say you know you're going to be home at 7 o'clock and you want the home nice and toasty. You say, okay, I'm going to make the temperature, you know. 68 degrees. Six nice and comfortable. <laughs> I'm thinking, what, what temperature am I going to say? So I'm glad you said that one wrong. 68 is 68. perfect for me. Exactly. Uh, Year-round. Sweater, uh, sweater weather. Sweater? And, yeah. but when, No, maybe wearing a sweater. I've got shorts and a t-shirt on even at 68. Right. I'll be down at the beach tomorrow morning by 6 o'clock. Well, Terry loves it. It's a great. And it, it retails for the third generation retails for about 250 Okay. And you can get earlier uh, generations for about 150 Okay. And it, it'll, it, it'll pay for itself in a few months. Honestly. It really will. Love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else do we have? A smart technology for the holidays. Well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go low tech here. Okay. People like inexpensive gifts. That's me. And if my husband, my husband says he's more green than me in certain regards. He is. So he's always chasing me around the house and turning off the lights at, at night. I was and wondering where you're going with that. That's a family <laughs> show. <laughs> and so, uh, what we talk about is uh, is occupancy sensors. They're different than motion sensors. So motion sensors are when you walk by, the light goes on. But this is an occupancy sensor. It's a little bit more high tech than that and it can sense small movements in the room. So if you're in bed reading a book or, or um, doing your homework at the office, it'll turn a light on, it knows you're there, it'll stay on. But when you leave, it'll shut off. These are really good for like laundry rooms, closets, kids' rooms. As kids are the worst when it comes to turning lights on. Absolutely. Off. Yeah. And they're no, all no, the, the, I, I got to correct you a little bit, Eileen. Okay. They are great at turning lights on. Oh. Turning them off, they just don't do that. Yeah. that that's that's, 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 that's yeah. not part of the program. Yeah, they don't. They don't. <laughs> but it's kind of like you don't have to chase them around the house. So not only is it energy efficient for electricity bill, it's energy efficient for you because you don't have to go up and down the stairs and turn their lights off. Right. You know, when you're coming exactly. In. So, yeah. Yeah. And those retail for about fifty to twenty dollars. You can get them on um, all these products. You can get on Amazon. Nice. Uh, a great company is called Lutron. They're based in Irvine, and they have they have great products when it comes to um, occupancy sensors and shades and that type of thing. So nice. Okay. That's that's good technology. The other thing that that I find is really interesting is this uh, Samsung Smart Things Hub for home monitoring. It kind of takes it up a little bit a little bit further. Right. And where you can connect your lights, you can uh, if you have a camera, you can connect the camera so you can monitor inside your home. It's not as high tech as other ones, but it's one that uh, you can be anywhere in the world in, on your phone and you can monitor your home. You've, it's, it's really good when you're on vacation. I'm sure glad they didn't have these things when I was in high school. Me too. There were a lot of things going on when mom and dad weren't home, oh. but I'm sure glad they couldn't yeah. monitor. Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> the things that would have happened to me, I would never be able to run for politics if they had cell phones when I was in college. And <laughs> uh, I still can't run for politics, so we're okay there. <laughs> Not that I would. But that, that retails for about $250. So uh, that's something that, once again, it's, it's really good if you are not home a lot and you want to turn your lights on and off. But there's another one called Wink that I think is fascinating because you not only can you connect your light bulbs, you can start connecting your coffee maker, you can connect your uh, crock pot, you can connect your a lock to your home. Now that's interesting when it comes to teenagers. Yeah. You, you can what's, lock and unlock your home. What time did you get home last night? Yeah, I know better. It's, it's, yeah. it's locked here. And uh, that's another one where... That's called Wink? Wink. I'm writing that yeah, down? Yeah, it's Wink. Smart Hub. The, the Hub itself starts at uh, $45 and then you start adding things to it. So, it, and, and it's simple as 
uh, an LED light. So an LED light, it, it needs to have the Wink language in it. And there's a sticker on there that'll say this is Wink compatible. So it could be a DVD player, it could be a television. And so I think this Wink technology is going to start taking over a lot of electronic devices, quite frankly. Wow. And so you can monitor them, you could turn them off, you could turn them on. So uh, a friend of mine actually has it on, on his phone, and he he tells his spouse what kind of mood he's in <laughs> by what the, what the lights are doing in the house. So uh, this is going a, way too uh, far for me. Yeah, but if he's in a romantic mood, you know, he turns the light down a little bit low, like, honey, get dinner ready, Wait. you know, glass of wine. I think it would be the other way around. It would be if he's not the once in a great while that he's not... I mean, come on. We know that the guys are always in a romantic mood. Well, well, maybe not romantic. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're not going to go there. <laughs> this is getting way out of control. It is Friday, and you are listening it to Ron Friday. Siegel Radio discussing your real estate, current events, and the financial markets. Having a lot of fun here. We're going to have to get all of these things onto our Facebook page. So you'll know where to find them. You can reach us anytime, though. The 800 number 306-1990. 800-306-1990 or ronsiegelradio.com. Stay tuned. We will be back in just a few. Is your credit score over 800? Are you living in the home of your dreams or simply where you think you can afford? Are you earning a safe, secure 10 plus percent return on your investments? If the answer to any of these questions is no, what are you doing about it? Text ATP to 79564, complete a three-minute complimentary survey, and the area-trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio will reach out to you to develop a success strategy for you. Again, all you need to do is text ATP to 79564. Are you purchasing or own a luxury home? If you're like so many others, your home is your largest asset and the mortgage is your largest debt. The Siegel Lending Team has some amazing financing opportunities right now. Jumbo loans up to $2 million, 30-year rates below 4%, 15-year rates near 35 and if you can believe it, 7-year interest only hybrids in low threes. The Siegel Lending Team has all the options for your jumbo or second home loan requirements. Take advantage of them while you can. To learn more about all the other financing products available from the Siegel Lending Team, call 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Again, call 1-800-306-1990. Rates subject to change without notice. Licensed by NMLS ID 217037 and 145502. Equal housing lender. Southern California attorneys have over 15,000 real estate agents to call in Orange County for their personal and professional needs. Why do they overwhelmingly call Melinda Johnson? Simple. It's the Melinda Johnson trifecta. Melinda is an attorney, real estate broker, and realtor. Does your family deserve the same professional services California lawyers demand? Call Melinda Johnson at 714-863-5485. That's 714-863-5485. Or on the web at freedomfirstproperties.com. Are you a veteran? Own a home and need money? The Siegel Lending Team is here to help veterans refinance and get the money they need. The VA 100 lets you borrow up to 100% of your home's value. Refinance your mortgages, consolidate credit cards, and lower your payments by an average of 7 hundred dollars a month and the Siegel lending team knows that character means more than a credit score call 800-306-1990 that's 800-306-1990 rate subject to change without notice licensed by the california department of corporations nmls 21037 and dre number 01869452 37 percent of american homeowners believe they have over 20 percent equity in their homes fannie mae tells us 69 percent of american homeowners have over 20 percent equity in their homes fully one in three american homeowners are not informed about the amount of equity they have in their homes are you one of them? How might this be holding you back from achieving your goals? Text RSR CMA to 79564 to get a property valuation from one of the area trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio. Again, to know how much your home is really worth, simply text RSR CMA to 79564. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. <laughs> Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That's my message. And as your consumer advocate, I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime. 800-306-1990. 800-306-1990. Your Credit Matters segment today brought to you by CreditSanitizer.com. You have a credit report. It is wrong. 
The only reason I know that is because they're all wrong. And it's ironic because I talk about this every day about credit reports and how they're inaccurate. I actually just pulled my own and I've been, you know, I monitor all the time because I know that they're all inaccurate. And somehow they've got my name now incorrect. Now, in the last 50 oh, some years, I have not changed my name, but somehow the bureaus have me down as somebody new. Got to go to creditsanitizer.com. They will help you get that corrected. Trading travel cards for cash back cards. That's the subject of our Your Credit Matters segment today. I hear this on a regular basis. Many times, uh, many, many years ago when I was doing a lot of traveling, this goes back into the mid 80s, I used to have that American Airlines Visa card and I had the American Airlines, I had the American Airlines everything because I traveled on American Airlines way, way too much. And it dawned on me, it took me a little while, I'm a simple guy, that all the rewards were at American Airlines. They've changed it a little bit since then, but the awards were at American Airlines. Well, what if I wanted to go to Denver? Not the best airline to take if you want to go to Denver. That's United's hub. Well, then they started going with these cards that allow you to get cash back, or they'll, let, they'll go out into the marketplace and buy on the open market the rewards. Instead of being lot tied into American Airlines and all their blackout period, you can switch cards to using some of the cash back cards or some of these other cards from the credit card companies. American Express has one, Visa has one, Capital One I know has one. Although I hate Capital One because they use that jerk for the commercials. Won't talk about them. But here we go. That's the idea here is you got to change credit cards strategically. Do not close a credit card unless there is a great reason. Never ever close your credit cards because that's going to hurt your credit score when you close the card. Switch over on a, on a strategic method. Use the new cards. Just buy a cup of coffee on the old one to keep it open and aging and active. And don't go crazy on them. And it's going to help your score because once you get the new cards, it's going to drop your score a little bit short term because of new credit. You're going to have the old credit still going to be doing well for you. Just do it strategically. That's the idea. And if you want some help with it, give a call to us at 800-306-1990 or our friends at creditsanitizer.com. They can help you out as well. We a little bit of a late change to our programming this morning just because, well, because we could. Manny Alvarez jumped in the car, came to visit us because it's a battle of Orange County versus San Diego today in the football regional finals. Tell us what's going on, Manny. All right, Ron. Uh, yeah, it's uh, something Kenny's never done. First off, one CIF, but now they head to the regionals. Uh, they expanded it this year, so Canyon got in, and now they're playing uh, Bonita Vista in Chula Vista. That's at Southwestern College, which, by the way, Canyon fans, I suggest you guys leave by noon. Uh, I'm hearing a lot of people are thinking about leaving at 3 or 4. That's a bad idea for Friday. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, Friday going, you're going to get the uh, Friday afternoon traffic out of Orange County. You're going to get the Friday afternoon in traffic into San Diego. Dude. And then Friday afternoon traffic out of San Diego as you go south. Exactly. You're going to the tip of Mexico there, so... Uh, yeah, I suggest... Bring your passports. There, yeah, I just in case. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I might get too crazy. No, but um, yeah, I suggest you guys leave at noon. Get there a little early. Maybe watch a movie somewhere in San Diego. Kill some time. But uh, just just a quick heads up. But uh, yeah, you know, um, this is going to be a tough challenge for Canyon. You know, they, they, you know, I know that, you know, they've... I, I coined the term they've been playing with um, bad intentions since they lost El Medina maybe six, seven weeks ago. And they've just been being bullies, being people left and right, and I think they were fine with being the bullies or the villains or whatnot. Well, you're um, on, the, on the field. That's where it's meant to be. Yeah, that's exactly where it's meant to be, you know, and, um, you know, they took care of, of El Medina the next time, you know, they they, they took some other teams uh, out there, and uh, and then they ended up taking care of Bray Lunda. Again, they, you know, they shut him out, but now they, they face a big ta big task. Uh, Buena Vista has a Division One commit from San Diego State. Uh, Greg Bell, great running back. If they can stop him, then Canyon's got a shot. Kenny has a lot of of, of weapons passing wise. San Diego State, Steve. I, I know you're listening, Steve. I, I I neglected to talk about San Diego State's bowl game, and, and that they were undefeated all year. I think they did pretty well in the bowl though too, didn't they? I'm not. Steve, if you're listening to me, I know you know that. But are they? Did San Diego State win their bowl game? I'm, I'm putting him on the spot. Keep going, Manny. We'll get Steve right, um, in here. 
No, but yeah, they, they have the San Diego State commit. So I mean, that's pretty big. They the, the got a, a look and a commit there. But uh, I think he's got over maybe twenty. Let me let me double check here. Yeah, while you're doing that, San Diego State beat the uh, beat Air Force twenty seven twenty four. So they're still undefeated. Really? Yeah. So you, and you've got Buena, Buena Vista's got a they they got that running back uh, Greg Bell. He's got about twenty two hundred yards this year. Which is why wow. I think I think our, I think Kenny's running back Charlie Trainer has only got maybe about a little over 900, and and that's a tough 900. He's a tough running back. Uh, running back. He's had to deal with a lot of a lot of uh, tough guys. But uh, 2,200 yards in high school football. That's yeah, kind of unheard of. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes that's, that's you know? amazing. But uh, that's well, that's why you get that's why you get uh, the you know the best schools looking at you. Um, but Kenny does have some weapons on defense. Avery Jones, Blake Suttle, uh, you know Luke Boyd is underlooked. And, you know there's Josh Simon, Ch- Christian Arise up. Yeah, I'm forgetting a bunch of other Chris Churches. There's a lot of other key guys. Elliot Payne. Uh, you know, so they have weapons on defense, and if they can stop him, I know that the cornerback and the tight end for Buena Vista is suspended from the semifinals. Wow! But they played in the finals without them, so they can still play without those guys. Um, so at least they have they have that. But you can't you can't go lightly. You know, um, and yeah, he's got a pretty good quarterback too, Jason Harmon. Yeah, and uh, he's got. I think he's out. 23, see, i got to go back to the phone. Um, got my stats here. He's got uh, over 2,600 yards this year, passing 28 touchdowns. And like I said, he's got those weapons. You know, he's got, you know, Trace Hobbs, uh, Noah White. I think he had Connor Dunn, who played a great game last week to win the title. Um, yeah, you know, you got an amazing quarterback. And, and, you know, it's 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 perfect. You know, a great quarterback with great weapons out there to, to throw to. So, uh, so Canyon has them beat on the run, on the passing game. Buena Vista hasn't beaten the running game. It just depends if the, the Buena Vista corners can stop the, the receivers and the Canyon, you know, D can stop Greg Bell and, and that running game. It's going to be a defensive line and linebackers. Yeah, it's going to be quarterbacks on the other side. Whichever defense can stop the running game or the passing game, of, you know, the, if, if Buena Vista can stop the passing, Canyon can stop the running. It just depends who, who can do it. But uh, it's going to be great. At the same time, Canyon might be still a little hungover from that, you know, championship. You know, that's, you know, one of the greatest moments in school history. History. Um, well, I get myself in trouble about that one, Manny, because most of the actually none of the guys that were there know remember this. But the last time Canyon was actually in the CIF finals was 1979, and they lost to the alma mater of yours truly, Loera High School. Don't want to go. Don't want to cause any problems there. No, your son's watching. He might. He might, <laughs> he might get all upset. I might have, He might short, <laughs> he might short shoot my bed today or something. He, he wants me to come and pick him up to take him down to the the football game. Yeah, and it was fun because uh, you know I was there, you know, covering the game for OC sidelines and. Um, you know, I see you know a bunch of old the the seventy nine coaching staff was there. Uh, my old media tech teacher was there, uh, Mr. Weinkoff. We called him Wino. And then the longtime softball coach, you know, Lance Eddy, uh, he was uh, the coach there. He was my freshman football coach, and I think Coach Zeller and Coach Sabins, who Coach Sabins used to coach the basketball team before Coach Harrison took over. Um, but they were there on the hand. A lot of people who played with my brother, people who played with me. We're on the sidelines, and we we're just in awe because we were never that great. Right. We we always struggled. We tried to fight for at least the playoffs, but to well, watch a couple of years ago, I think Canyon was just fighting to to, to score, get a win. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, went a couple of years without scoring or without uh, getting a win. And that's what's there. fantastic is these kids, these seniors, when they're in eighth grade, they saw a Canyon team go no zero zero wins, ten losses, and to have them turn this around to CIA champions is is is, is a blessing. It's it's amazing what what we've seen this program turn. Uh, Turn around so quickly and it's hard work. Hard work, those seniors, and along with the great coaching staff with Coach Mike Ogas. And uh, so, who's going to win the game tonight, Manny? Oh man, putting him on the spot. <laughs> uh, I'm heading to Vegas yeah. right after the show, so you got to you got to give me the. the <laughs> uh, it, it's a tough one because you know it, it's once again it, it, if Candy can outpass the running game for Buena Vista, you know I, I've. That's a challenge because a, a passing game by definition takes less time off the clock. Than a running game, and then you're giving the ball back, so that the time of possession should favor Buena Vista, right? You know, and at the same time, you know, the passing the passing game for Buena Vista isn't that strong, as I see in the stats. Um, on the website, because every week I see sidelines.com, we always have our predictions. Now you'll see on the website I predicted Buena Vista, but as I did more research on this, I'm like, you know what? I think I might have that one wrong. Uh, so I'm going to stick with my alma mater. I think Canyon's going to sneak by here. And then uh, they'll end up playing t- next week in the state final. I believe it's in Sacramento State. Don't quote me on that. Um, I'm sure Carlos Arias or Mango will text me the, the, the actual site. But uh, 
I think I played the winner of Hanford and Sonora of Sonora, not the La Habra one. Right. But uh, it's going to get tougher next week. But if yeah, they can win, not look past this week though. No, no. That, obviously, in order to get that, you got to beat the, the, the guys in front of you. So I, I can see Canyon sneaking by this 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 week and keeping the dream alive. So. Well, Manny, we, we get the, the whole scoop. Is they're not going to let you back in the gym if you predict somebody else? Exactly. Hey, <laughs> during during the season when we had Canyon in our you know top ten games to to look for in our predictions, you know, if I didn't predict Canyon, you know, I especially your son, I'd get it. Like, why? I'm like, I I have to report. I can't I can't be <laughs> That's a homer. Your job. That's yeah. your job. Mitchell, Manny called it. Here. He did hedge a little because he's going to put his report on OC sidelines saying Buena Vista, but he said it here on Ron Siegel Radio that it's going to be Canyon. You decide. I know what Mitchell's prediction will be, and you are listening to Ron Siegel Radio discussing your real estate current events and the financial markets. When we come back, we're going to see if Manny's going to change his prediction once again. We're going to see if Eileen has any more tips for us. And you can reach me anytime. Our off-air number is 800-306-1990. 800-306-1990 or ronsegalradio.com. Connect with us, facebook.com forward slash ronsegalradio. And on Twitter, at Ron Siegel. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. Are you living in the home of your dreams or simply where you think you can afford? Are you earning a safe, secure 10 plus percent return on your investments? Is your credit score over 800? If the answer to any of these questions is no, what are you doing about it? Text ATP to 79564. Complete a three-minute complimentary survey, and the area-trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio will reach out to you to develop a success strategy for you. Again, all you need to do is text ATP to 79564. Do you have a loved one who wants to stay in their home, but you have health concerns about it? The Preferred Care Team understands the challenges of caring for your loved ones. Their goal is to keep seniors as independent as possible while maintaining their health, safety, and overall well-being. Whether you need just a few hours a week or 24-hour care, Preferred Care caregivers are trained to meet your needs. Call Preferred Care at 714-696-9150. That's 714-696-9150. Or visit preferredcare.com. Homeowners that are 62 and older are about to find out a great way to live a better retirement. It's called a reverse mortgage, and SLT can help you learn more. Call the Siegel Lending Team at 800-306-1990 right now to receive your free booklet with no obligation. It answers questions like how a reverse mortgage works, how much you qualify for, the ways to receive your money, and more. When you call the experts at Siegel Lending Team today, you'll learn the benefits of a government-insured reverse mortgage, how it will eliminate your monthly mortgage payments, and give you tax-free cash from the equity in your home. Here's the best part. You still own your home. Now is the best time to take control of your retirement. Call 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990 to get your free brochure. Call today or visit our website at SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Or simply call 800-306-1990. Are you currently renting a home? Do you like paying someone else's mortgage payment? Why not explore the options to purchase your own home? Can you imagine a 30-year fixed rate loan below 4.25% APR? This means with $10,500, you can purchase a $295,000 home and have a principal and interest payment of about $1,400 per month. What are you paying in rent? Does your family deserve the opportunity to take advantage of the current market? To learn more about these exciting opportunities, the Siegel Lending Team is standing by to speak with you. Call now, 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. 306-1990 or visit SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com or 1-800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by NMLS ID 217037 and 145502. Equal housing lender. Not endorsed or sponsored by any government agency. Save big on your oil change now at Big O Tires. Get a standard oil and filter change for only $16.99, including free tire rotation. For your nearest location, go to Big O Tires com you're listening to ron siegel's home and finance show with local and national expert ron siegel now here's ron welcome back to ron siegel radio within every market there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities you just need some trusted guidance that's my message and as your consumer advocate i will be delivering it every day on ron siegel radio anytime 800-306-1990 
800-306-1990. The Word on Wealth segment today being brought to you by your household board of directors. Every major corporation that I've ever seen, publicly traded especially, has a board of directors. That's because the leadership, management, they don't know everything there is to know about everything. Do you think you do? Probably not. You need a household board of directors. All you have to do is text ATP to 79564. We will help you put together that household board of directors. You need to know a great tax planner, a CPA, a real estate professional, mortgage professional, insurance. Maybe one to three different types of attorneys will be helpful. Estate planning you might need. You might need a divorce or family attorney. There are all kinds of them out there. We put together that board of directors for you. I, I run, unfortunately, the number one week of the year for filing divorce, first week of January. Think about that one. So, And people are looking right now, so if you need the information, I feel bad for you, but we'll help you out. On a lighter note, being that it is the holiday time, holiday bonuses. Let's think about holiday bonuses. I like thinking about holiday bonuses, as long as I'm not the one paying them. But there is taxes involved. How do you minimize taxes on your holiday bonuses? Well, some companies are going to consider bonuses as wages. We don't want them to be considered as wages. We want them to be considered as supplemental income. There is a different tax treatment, tax withholding, on supplemental income as opposed to wages or bonuses. Especially, you know, a bonus frequently is different amount than your base rate or your base pay. Sometimes it's significantly more, so the government says, well, they're going to get that every week or every month, and they start changing your withholding brackets. Eh, not fun. If it's supplemental, it's treated differently. Am I an expert in this? I'm a simple guy. What I am an expert in is knowing that it's, there's a different treatment, and I am an expert in introducing you to the tax professionals who can help you. That's why we've set up the Area Trusted Professionals. All you need to do is text ATP to 79564 and to get the information that you need. Let's continue our conversation. Eileen Oldroyd is in the house. We're talking about some of our energy efficient opportunities in and gift giving we got we got some good i think you've got some everything from like ten dollars to 250 dollars exactly today. exactly and i suggest i suggest one of these gifts if you don't want to file for divorce in january this might prevent that okay <laughs> I, I want to know which one of the green energy items are going to prevent divorce well, I'm not sure. It depends on depends. On, you should, probably the light ones. Probably the uh, the on oh, the lights. The, the okay. Outfits, the sensor. That's only fifteen bucks. You know, fifteen to twenty dollars. So that's 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 a small investment and a good ROI. That's all I got to say. Relationship I, I, ROI. I can just picture this yeah. now. That I'm going to have the one that's going to dim the lights a little bit, and Minnie's yeah. going to have the one that turns on the flood lamps. <laughs> just, just say it. Just and being that she's not listening this morning, I can get away with it. It probably can. <laughs> You know, there's one that's really cool out there. It's called a Net Ammo Weather Net Atmo Weather Station. N E T A T M O dot com. It's about $150, and it's an indoor weather station and an outdoor weather station. And weather stations are kind of like this cool gift that you usually give to your your husband because they love to you know bear barometer. Barometric, what's it, barometric? barometric pressure. Thank you. Thank you. I don't even know what it means. I, yeah. I, I learned how Something. to say it. You know what the weather is going to be like for okay. seven, to seven days. But the display is actually on your phone or your tablet. It's not actually on the machine itself. It's about the size of a bottle of wine. But they have a second device that you. My wife would just rather the bottle of wine. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so would I. But this other one, because last time I was on the show, we talked about indoor air quality. Right. And this one it actually measures like the CO2 levels in the home and humidity and that type of thing. And it'll tell you, it's like, you need to open a, up a window. It's getting a little stale in here. And indoor air quality is much worse than outdoor air quality. So I find that a fascinating, it's kind of I think of that's like, a fascinating comment in Southern California, especially. Especially. Right? Because I mean, yeah. for so many years, we were dealing with outdoor air quality that you can see the air. I know. And now you're saying that the indoor air quality is worse, worse. than the outdoor. And we spend 80% of our time indoors. Right. So it's like, you know, if, if you want to have fresh air and a clear mind, you know, this might be the machine for you. Kind of, It's kind of cool. It's kind of high-tech. Some of us have a fresh mind. Oh, no, that's, that's a different subject. <laughs> we're, uh, again, we're, 
You can tell it's date night Friday, right? I mean, holy it cow. Is, okay, know? what else we got? We also, and I, I, re, I would be remiss if I didn't talk about water. You know, it's one of the major subjects, water. So there are these smart irrigation systems that are attached to the satellite. One is a rain machine, Mini 8. It's a, it's a forecast sprinkler. That one retails for about 180. If you have all the modules, it goes up to 470. But it's essentially, it's a t it's a t you put in your specific zip code, because there's a lot of microclimates here in sure. Southern California. We have beach, we have mountains, we have desert, chaparral, et cetera. So That's why we live in Southern California. We do. Yeah, we pay to play, right? Yeah, exactly. So you type in your zip code, and it it tells you exactly how much water that you need or don't need. And you can tie it to your sprinkler system, and it'll turn it off. If it's raining, it'll turn it off. But you can take it up a notch. It's actually less expensive to do this one. It's the Toro Extra Smart Soils, uh, Soil Moisture Sensor, 75 bucks. You put it actually in your lawn, in your landscaping, and it senses how much moisture is there. So rather than having just timing your sprinklers, it'll say you may or may not need water today or for the next eight days. Because if, if El Nino ever gets here, please, right? Uh, you may not need to water for a month, depending on. I wonder how that's going to, do they tie in your zip code to what the local city ordinances are now? Yeah, actually, the, uh, the smart, the rain machine, you can program in the city ordinances, and it can help you save water. Interesting stuff. Yeah. Well, great information coming from Eileen Oldroyd. And uh, we, we, I think comes back to share a lot of this good stuff with us on a regular basis. So keep on listening. We're also going to – Manny, we got to get back to – I mean, my passion, it's, it's sports. I'm a, I'm a junkie. I'm, I, you said something in the last segment that fits me perfect. Or maybe it was in the break you said it. And when you figured you couldn't play, you got on the sidelines and reported. Yeah. That's me too. I'm, the, I'm that same guy. I mean – Yeah, I heard that from the uh, baseball manager. Uh, he's, he's, I think, an analyst of the ESPN, but when he used to manage, like, how'd you get into coaching? He's like, well, quite simply, I couldn't play. <laughs> <laughs> that's, my, that's my world. I, I'm uh, two left feet and a, a little bit oversized. But yeah. <laughs> I'm the opposite. <laughs> too skinny. <laughs> too skinny. I'm, maybe we had somewhere in between there, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> so, so are you stick? Which, which way are you sticking? You, give, you told us uh, first off that Bonita Canyons, Bonita Vista is going to win. Then it's Canyon's going to win in the football game tonight. I'm going to stick with Canyon. Uh, I think I've already upset your son. Final answer. Mitchell, I'm going with Canyon, man. Don't okay. worry. Um, now let's go. Let's take it one step further, though, because uh, Canyon, and I know that you're, you're the big-time Canyon man, they've had a couple of really spectacular years in basketball. They have, and it's going to be tough to repeat that. Uh, it's yeah. always tough to repeat championships. Yeah. They did it once. Were they the two years in a row they were champions? Yeah, they won in, in 2014, and then they did it last year in that. You know, miracle comeback in the finals. Uh, right. In case no one knows, you know they were down what twenty eight near the end of the third quarter. We're thinking, okay, Lawndale's gonna, gonna 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 take this title, and Candy came back and won in a matter of ten minutes. And uh, well, they had overtimes, but the, the, the comeback to tie it, and then it went yeah, that was probably one of the greatest comebacks you've ever seen. But it's gonna be tough, you know. Uh, the the Anderson era is over. You know, they had Jeremy Anderson, then uh, Chris Anderson, and then Nick Anderson. You know, there's no more Andersons. Right. Uh, you know, the Ballesteros are gone. You know, Chandler Dignam's gone. You know, all, all the key guys from last year's team are gone. So it's kind of a rebuilding year. And uh, if you saw them last week, they they they're young and they're learning. And so, uh, unfortunately, while you learn, you, you take a couple beatings. And right. they, they play a very good Los Alamitos team tonight. I'll be there. Unfortunately, we're gonna have a OC, we're gonna have someone uh, representing OC Sidelines at the football game. Um, Somebody said you can watch. Uh, Mitchell told me you can watch the football game online though somehow. I believe so. I. Not sure Fox Sports will have it live streaming. Yeah, I know they did it last week. Yeah, Time Order Cable. I think Mitchell told. Uh, I will get it. We'll we'll find that out. Maybe Mitchell will tweet us in here. He's gonna he'll have his tweeting all the time. Yeah, but if not, um, you know, I like I keep up on the score if we're we're in if we're not down there in Chula Vista. Uh, you know, we uh, you can always go to ocsidelines.com to check all our stories, obviously. But I know we we're very good. I'm very good at live tweeting, and uh, we're gonna have uh, people helping us out live tweeting today at OC Sidelines uh, at Twitter. So if you go to Twitter and just uh, go at OC Sidelines, we'll have live updates there. I know. Uh, I know we'll have someone there uh, with the live tweets. If, if we're not there, then we're gonna have we're gonna be retweeting like crazy and and, and keep everyone up to date. Sounds good. So it should be. Uh, a great time for Canyon, uh, and you know it's a great time for football, high school sports. This time of year, there's so much excitement. The kids are all out there. They've worked their tails off. Um, and I had I had uh, one of my oldest uh, my oldest son played football for one of the great high school coaches, in my opinion. And his comment to me was, "The coach's report card comes 30 years after the kids graduate from high school." 
Mm-hmm. What kind of a young man are they? What kind of a father are they? What kind of a citizen are they? And those are the real important things that I believe come out of all of high school sports. Is, and, and it's something we really need to watch as a community. Because high school sports, boys, girls, win, lose, doesn't matter. At the end of the day, I mean, they're not making any money at it. At the end of the day, it's teaching the kids teamwork. It's teaching them responsibility. It's teaching them values. And that, to me, that's the most important part of it. I'm glad you guys at uh, OC Sidelines are doing that, man. Yeah. And what I like about the high school, especially with this football team, uh, you know, it, it, you know, we can go on Facebook, the Anaheim Hills Buzz, and you see just the community coming together, and that's with every every up. Uh, well, we can't every use school. that term on this show because they get mad at me. But Orange County. My apologies, see but that. you know, <laughs> every 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 community around the school, they always they always collect together and stay together, and that's what's that's what's awesome. It, you know, you think it's just it just happens in Texas or maybe in Florida, but it also happens everywhere. You know, where where uh, building community where there's a basketball team, baseball team, what have you, a football team, and the whole community comes in together, and the alumni shows up, and that's how it was on Friday. We saw the alumni, yeah. and that was great. Awesome stuff. Be sure to set that first radio preset button to come back here every day to join Ron Siegel Radio, where we only speak about items affecting your house and your bank account. Thanks to all of our sponsors. That's it. Call me 800 306 1990. I'll introduce you to any of our guests. And remember, make a lot of money, help a lot of people, have a lot of fun, have a great day. We'll talk to you next time on Ron Siegel Radio. You're listening to ESPN Radio 1700. B Dubs presents.